induction. Okay. So mutual inductance. Last time we learned before about self inductance, right? Yes. Self inductance. That one only involve one coil. Huh? EMF is induced in a coil due to the change of current at the same coil. Okay. Now, uh, mutual inductance happen in two coils. Yeah, it involves two coils. Yeah. What is it? Mutual inductance is the EMF is induced in one coil due to the change of current in another coil. Uh, in another coil, yeah? So it involves two coils. Okay, let's see uh, what uh, actually is mutual inductance. Okay? Now, assuming coil 1 has current initially, okay? Uh, coil 1 has current initially, okay? That means uh, only the coil 1 has current, coil 2 doesn't have current. Okay? Uh, coil 2 initially doesn't have current, only the coil 1 has current. So, uh, what actually happening? Yeah? Now, EMF is induced in another coil. Okay? In another coil, uh, which is coil 2. Yeah? EMF is induced in coil 2 due to the change of current in coil 1. Uh, like you see, yeah? Uh, yeah, this one is the uh, coil 1. Okay? This is the coil 1. And this is the coil 2. Uh, coil 1, coil 2. Coil 1 initially has the battery. So initially it has current. <laughs> coil 2 doesn't have any battery. It only has a galvanometer. Uh, it only has the galvanometer uh, uh, to show the current induced, yeah? if there is an induction happening. So to measure the current. Okay. Uh, coil 2 doesn't have anything, no, no battery. It only has a galvanometer. Okay? Uh, initially, it shows zero reading. Okay? Uh, because no current. Uh, only coil 1 has current initially. So, uh, what it means here is, current is changing in coil 1. Di1 over dt. Current is changing in coil 1 by manipulating the resistance here. Okay? Current is changing here. So what happened is, when the current changing here, okay, uh, we know that coil 1 has current, so it will give up magnetic field. Give up magnetic field, so this magnetic field also pass through coil 2. It passed through coil 2. So coil 2 receives the magnetic flux. Understand? Uh, we call it external magnetic flux. Why we call it external magnetic flux? Because this flux is donated by coil 1. Coil 1 has the current, it has the magnetic field. Uh, coil 2 doesn't have any magnetic field, but it receives magnetic field from coil 1. Uh, so, coil 2, it receives the external magnetic flux from coil 1. So, what actually happening here is, when the resistor changes here, so the current also changes. Uh, so, when the current changes, magnetic field changes, so magnetic field changes, the magnetic flux received by coil 2 also changes. So there is a change of magnetic flux here. There is a change of magnetic flux here. So what happens in the end is, when there is a change of magnetic flux in coil 2, EMF is induced in coil 2. Now this is mutual induction. There is a simple concept as that. EMF is induced in coil 2. So when, when you have EMF induced in coil 2, then there's induced current passes through the galvanometer. Uh, then the needle of the galvanometer will deflect in one direction to show the direction of the induced current. You understand? Yes. Okay. So, you see, uh, um, so EMF is induced in coil 2 due to the change of magnetic flux received. Okay, this magnetic flux comes from this magnetic flux donated by coil 1 because coil 1 has current, has changing current. So, so EMF is induced in coil 2 due to the change of current in coil 1. This is the meaning. EMF E2 equal to negative M2 D5 2 over D. D. E2 equal to negative M. M is mutual inductance. Equal, uh, DI1 over DT. Change of current in coil 1. Okay, and uh, from here, from this formula, uh, we can extract this out. Okay, 
Uh, let's check this out. So dt cancel. Uh, so we get another formula. N times small pi is big pi. Isn't it? N times small pi is big pi. The magnetic flux linkage equal to equal to N2 plus 2 equal to Mi1. Uh, Mi1. Uh, actually, this is to find the magnetic flux linkage at any time. Let's say the current uh, coil one, current coil one is at two ampere, so we can flat find the magnetic flux received by coil two at when the current is two ampere. Uh, this is a so when current is one ampere, we can find the magnetic flux linkage received by coil two at that time. Okay, and uh, so this is the formula. Okay, so and then we have another formula for mutual inductance, which is mu naught n one n two a1 over L1. And this is just formula from derivation. Yeah. Uh, remember, uh, this one is the number of turns in coil 1, number of turns in coil 2, this is area for coil 1, and length for coil 1. Uh, this area and length, we take from the, the coil with current, which is coil 1. Okay? Uh, the one with current, the coil with current, uh, we take the area of that coil. Okay? Uh, don't put a area 2, L2. Uh. Uh, this area and length we take from the coil with current. Understand? So, in other words, we can say vice versa. If the coil initially, coil 2, has current, how to change all this? Change 2. Uh, if coil 2 has current, and EMF is induced in coil 1, then EMF is induced in coil 1. So, magnetic flux, uh, this one N1, this one flux, 1. EMF is induced in coil 1 due to the change of current in coil 2. Because current has, uh, the coil 2 initially has current. I mean, I change the situation. Lah. That means, now, this, this two, we uh, invert it. Uh, uh, coil 2 has battery, coil 1 only has galvanometer. Uh, then, this is how we change it. Okay? Uh, 1, 1, last time is 2, 2, 2, 1. Uh, now it's 1, 1, 1, 2. Understand, right? Uh, okay? Or we can change to like coil, coil P and coil Q. Uh, we can change like that also, yeah? Uh, like if this is a uh, plus 1, uh, plus 1, plus 1, this is 2 lah, understand or not? Uh, and then if this is N, uh, this one, N1, N2, so this one also, N1, N2, but this one you must check, this one maintain, N1, N2, we take both turns, but area, we change to 2, length 2, understand or uh, Because we always take the area and length from the coil that has the current, understand or Because coil 2 has current, so this one will take A2, length 2. Understand? Right? Uh, so and then you see you, if you compare with self-induction last time, the formula is almost the same. You see? Uh, just that, just that last time self-induction is uh, N only because it's same turn, same coil, isn't it? So it's the same N. So N square. This one is two different coil. So N1, N2. Uh, the other is the same, area length, is it? Uh, okay? Understand right, the formula? Now, let's look at the uh, uh, process, process in mutual induction. So, now, coil 1 initially has current, yeah, initially has current because it has battery. So now, the case is, we try to increase the current, coil 1, yeah, I1 increasing. Uh, how we increase? We decrease the Resistance. We decrease the resistance, so the current will increase. So there is a di1 over dt. There is a change of current in coil 1. So when the current increasing, what happens to the magnetic field give up by coil 1? Increase. So what is the external magnetic flux received by coil 2? Increase also. Isn't it? So there is a change of magnetic flux happening in coil 2. Change of magnetic flux happening in coil 2. So, Lenz law says I want to oppose the changes. Flux is increasing. Flux increasing, so 
how to oppose the increasing flux? This core tool will produce, will induce opposite direction induce flux. Uh, that means you will produce, this core tool will produce its own induced flux, which is opposite direction. Why opposite? Because the external flux is increasing. Uh, you try to produce opposite flux to cancel the increasing flux. Understand? Uh, this induced flux come from come from where? Come from coil to itself. Coil to produce. Understand? Now, so we know that induced flux come from here. So this is the north, and this is the south. Uh, this is the north. This is the south. So we use our right hand grip rule to determine the direction of the induced current and induced EMF. So uh, this is our thumb going to the left. So okay, our finger is from the front to the back. From the front to the back. Uh, so from the front to the back. So this is the current induced. Uh, so it comes up from here, induced current. Uh, this current induced come from coil 2. Okay? Uh, who produced this induced current? Coil 2. Coil 2. And this induced current going to the right. So the needle, the needle of the water deflects to the right. Uh, okay? It deflects to the right. Understand? Yes. Uh, deflects to the right. So current induced. So EMF induced. So we can say uh, this coil also has become a battery because the current coming from here, so this is positive, and current entering here, this is negative, isn't it? Yeah. So uh, this is positive terminal and this is negative terminal. terminal. So this is the E induced in produced by coil to so coil to produce the induced current and also the induced. And induce EMF and also the induce current. Uh, this one is positive terminal, this is negative terminal. Positive terminal because current come out. Negative terminal because current entering. So it becomes a temporary battery. Okay? So this is mutual induction. So you can ask yourself, what happens if the now, now is current increasing? What happens if current is decreasing? Uh, then of course this magnetic flux is same direction lah. Same direction, then you the needle should deflect to the left. Should needle deflect to the left. Uh, the process you do yourself. Okay? That's it? Alright. That's for mutual induction.